What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about the new Halloween Kills or the final Halloween Kills trailer rather that came out earlier last week. Uh, like I said before in the last Halloween Kills video, I did talk about the trailer coming and when it was coming. Found out later on a couple hours later that it will be coming that week that I posted that video. So we got the trailer. The trailer, I said before I would wait to see what everyone was thinking about it, what people were saying about it, as I did. Saw my Twitter feed fled with a uh, lot of comments, or flooded rather, with a lot of comments about how it's better than the original trailer that came out. It's better than most of what we've been shown to hype us up for the film because it's disclosing different angles of what we've kind of already seen with new stuff mixed in like the Dr. Loomis flashback and seeing who is running away from the Myers house with mask in hand who in the trailer from what I saw that was Karen running from the Myers house with the mask in hand and the one interesting thing that I liked about that trailer was the inclusion of showing us Dr. Loomis at the Myers house and showing Michael Myers presumably getting caught at the Myers house because what that would imply to me is that this is where Michael Myers ended up getting caught at after he got up from getting shot by Mike by Dr. Loomis earlier in the night in 1978 in John Carpenter's original film he made his way to his house Dr. Loomis of course went to the Myers house found him there Michael Myers was outside on his front porch and the before Michael could go anywhere the police showed up and he was arrested and put back into Smith's Grove sanitarium where we know he spent the next 40 years in confinement and just waited and waited until he was transported 40 years later and you know that's how we ended up in the events that we're watching now unfold in the halloween 2018 movie and with halloween kills so i like that i like that we're going to get to see where michael myers last was before he got taken back into custody and where he was it looks like it was the myers house that's the only thing i can assume i'm assuming that's what it is because i don't know how else you'll have a flashback set in 1978 where the police showed up surrounded myers and he was never taken into custody unless this is the events that happened after he got up from being shot six times the one thing that has me doubtful about it though wolfman's got nards kind of pointed to this but there are like no bullet holes in sight in that costume or in the jumpsuit like no bullet holes are to be seen in that jumpsuit from what i can see anyway there were no bullet holes so it was a little bit disappointing to not see the bullet holes but i'm also not going to say that that means that it's not taking place after he got shot six times because it could just be a continuity error just a mistake on the filmmakers parts as far as like giving us a little bit more detail along with what they're trying to convey on screen we got to see Lonnie Elam on the ground with him looking back presumably looking up at Michael Myers so another shot of the attack that we're going to get to see that he endured on the night of Halloween 1978 something that we know of course wasn't originally canon again jumping back to the whole mob mentality thing we do get to see that we do get to see allison stumble down the stairs and it looks like she tweaks or breaks her leg um i it looks like a it looked it looked like she broke something to me from what i saw it looks like she's breaking something jamie lee curtis apparently apparently posted a huge spoiler earlier in the week not, nothing and I, i'll take that back not even a huge spoiler she posted something that a lot of people were deeming a spoiler but if i'm not mistaken if you go on her instagram page and you come across the post that's up to you but the details about that post i feel like were mentioned already by david gordon green at one point in time over the course of us go getting up to the film's release i think that's a detail that was already kind of shared with us so the trailer in and of itself i thought was very good i do agree with the sentiment that this was the best trailer that we've gotten so far out of the bunch Still getting bombarded with TV spots on my TV screen, seeing Michael Myers do all this different type of stuff around Haddonfield. I am tired of the TV spots uh, at this point when I get the I even get them as YouTube ads. I just I just skip them at this point. So the other thing I want to talk about with this trailer was the small details that I feel like no one's paying attention to, such as the fact that the lady that's getting the black lady, I'll just say getting killed that we see in the trailer her and i'm going to just assume her boyfriend significant other getting killed in the trailer that same woman was the woman escorting the two journalists at the start of ha halloween 2018 i believe in the cemetery that's the same lady so i feel like those little small details 
definitely will lend to watching Halloween 2018 before you see Halloween Kills lend to that making it a bit more of a cohesive experience to see how these little things are all connected together and seeing characters who weren't as important in the in the last movie now being killed or maybe they'll be turned into a more prominent role she's definitely not gonna have a prominent role as we already saw in the trailer her and her significant other are being killed by michael myers at some point in that movie the trailer was very well done very well put together a lot of different angles from things that we've already seen so i appreciate that it didn't really show us anything all too new outside of again us seeing that karen will be running away from the myers house with the michael myers mask in her hand dr loomis his flashback will be him outside of the myers house porch with myers in the yard and police surrounding him again the safe bet is that that's where michael myers was caught before he got put back into the sanitarium because again i don't understand how they could put this somewhere else in the night and then explain how all these cops were around this man and they didn't do anything with him because again michael myers he 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 likes to walk he's a walker he, all those cops around him are not going to let him get anywhere so it's safe to, to assume that this shot of dr loomis at the front of the myers house on the porch with myers in the yard and the cops around myers with guns pointed that's that's where we're going to see michael myers made his way back to before getting caught and put back in smith's Grove sanitarium and I'll, I'll even go in a little bit more in depth because i don't want to say that he went back to his house i think that would be a st very stupid thing for michael myers to do let's just say that they just happened to catch him at the front porch of his house and that's where things trans that's where tr things transpired as far as like them getting him back into custody and taking him back into lockdown because if he if he actually did go back to his house on his own accord, he's an idiot. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That's that's the stupidest thing he could have done to avoid going back to Smith's Grove Sanitarium. Not that he not that he is, of course, the smartest killer out there or anything like that. I'm just saying you just got up from getting shot six times and you, your first place to go is your house i would just hope it was a coincidence that they caught him in front of his house i'm just i'm just being honest let, let me know what you guys thought about the trailer down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video